Hey guys, good morning. Cheers, it's Pete. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for a goofy little project that I've just been doing in my spare moments. And uh, <clears throat> what it is, is uh, this vise here that I got um, from the woodworking store, which I really love. And it's an undermount vise. It's supposed to mount underneath, but that didn't work for my lower table height. Um, so what I did was I just pre-drilled some holes and then inside there, up under the table, there's a receiver so that the bolt just locks in. And with a uh, half inch uh, socket, it comes off real fast. And I could take the vise and move it from here to my log that I have on wheels. And basically I've just got two, uh, <clears throat> two holes that I just sort of uh, pre-drilled or I piloted. And I leave those in here. Well, I'm gonna leave them in here. I just put them in a little while ago um, and see how that works. <clears throat> and basically I just take my vise from the table move it to my log and then I can roll it to a spot in the shop where it's easier to do some chainsaw work and then clean it up faster because I tried doing something with cardboard around it yesterday where it would just catch all the sawdust and that was kind of a pain. I even built this little uh, this lid so that way dust doesn't get in there and jam it up. And then I built this little, <clears throat> I noticed what I, when I was, which I really, uh, I've totally been digging the uh, chopping the pallet wood into small bits in the vise, it works great. Um, the vise came with a pivoting piece and that didn't work for most of what I do. So what I did was I just made out of a piece of same wood, the, the pallet wood, drilled a hole and then it's got this receiver and I just slide it in. And uh, basically, all these, these little notches here, that's from where my hatchet went too far, because you can never tell when you hit a knot and it slips and, and goes too far. And I was hitting the metal, and that's definitely not good for my hatchet. So I just put this in to protect my hatchet, and it's been working great. I really like it. And I even went so far as to do a little hole just underneath where I could store it, and that stores real nice there. So anyway. <laughs> Just I uh, thought I'd share a little goofy uh, project, which uh, is a time saver in the long run. It's it's uh, definitely made processing wood, which I do uh, every day. Um, it, it's made it a little quicker. And anything that makes something that you have to do all the time a little quicker, I think adds up in the long run. And who knows, maybe I'll come up with a whole new system later. But for now, this seems to work for me, and it's fun. And I keep my fires kind of... I kind of bank them a little on the side and, and throw my leftover sawdust um, just a few scoops at a time to keep the shop warm. And right now it's working good, but when I get some more insulation, I think uh, just a, a little bit of wood is going to go a long way here. Um, this winter I've had so many priorities that I haven't gotten to uh, insulating yet. So when I do that, um, as, as some folks say here in Alaska, if you can heat it with a cat fart, <laughs> you're doing great. And I am not even, I need like a uh, two grizzlies and a rhinoceros to be farting in here to, to warm it up. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I, ho I hope that humor wasn't lost on some. <laughs> anyway, hope you all have a great day and talk to you next time. Back to work. Bye.